Yo, 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 Nakama Worldwide, welcome back to Konkurazaki Corner. It's your boy, Serge. Yo. It's your boy, Rooks. What's happening? I'm your boy, Vim. And we are back again. Slightly off, so we do want to apologise. We've, we've been on a hiatus, so we missed My Hero Academia. But we're going to give you something even better. Two chapters in one vid, live reactions and our input. So apologies for the delay, but we are going to deliver. So we're going to give you chapter 287, mistakes, and chapter 288. We'll get to the title of 288 when we get there, but the main thing yeah. is you get 287, You know what? Glad you jumped in because I was about to struggle right there. Smash <laughs> the subscribe button, leave a like, and Brooklyn, if you do the honours, man, take us away, man. I think you were commenting on this fine woman's physique. Come on. She's hench. <laughs> look at the look at them quads. <laughs> that is no joke. And then biceps yeah, and triceps. <laughs> so we left off with Deku, well, Nana Shimura hopping into the scene because they had gone into this, so we say, one for all realm. Now, to think, not even my, not even my death could keep us from meeting again. All for one. Jeez. Alright, so now they're looking on, whoosh, that's Nanashimura, we're inside one for all, but what's happening with Kachan and everyone else? Now looky there, Tomura. Ah, okay, so yeah, this is effectively, it's grandma. Gra grandma, it's like, sorry, yeah. grandma, yeah, grandma, <laughs> Nana, okay, wow, a dead person. <laughs> who happens to be your grandmother. The pathetic, incompetent Nanashimura stands before us. Rude. We're in the middle of a transplant. <laughs> there are stories of people whose personalities and tastes change after an organ transplant. Though it sounds rather occult, there's plenty of supporting evidence. As for me, I'm prone to the oddest dreams from time to time. In my dreams, those who, whose quirks I've stolen show up to, to hurl abuse my way. <laughs> These episodes often leave me discouraged. Am I really capable of feeling guilt for my sins like some utterly ordinary person? But here's the strangest part. Once I get rid of a quirk, its former owner stops haunting my sleep. Ah, that's interesting. So we can actually take and get rid of quirks. Mm bizarre no especially since i'm certainly the, the type to hold a grudge myself but my work with our good doctor revealed the root cause just as organs and cells house memories of sorts every quirk factor factor contains a consciousness the individuality of its wielder if you will as someone with the power to meddle with quirks themselves, I found myself in the in the unique position of being able to interact with those consciousnesses. Ah, this is getting deep. So, Shimura, uh, Tamora looks on. Now, quit trampling all over Shimura's memory. That's nah, a flashback, she, away, that's a flashback of the, um, Gran Torino. So, so would would he have been saying that to? Say that to Shigaraki. Okay. So then Shigarek looks up and says, Nana Shimura. And now it got a flashback of him looking at a picture, I assume. Grandma. And then we're back. Okay, so now he's looking at uh, Shimura. Why were you? And then I think that's a flash. Ah, so at that time when he was um, about to kill his dad, do you remember when people were, when his family was holding him back? The part when... Um, when we finally found out what his ability was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then when, lit off. When he unleashed. And, and when he was about to, to finish off his pups, the yeah. family was, was saying, don't do it or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So Nana, Mush Nana Shimura was there as well, it yeah. seems like. My blood kin too, my little brother who had the power to grant his own quirk to another could also meddle with quirks directly. When his original quirk mixed with the power stocking one, the resulting power became a sleeper car to carry consciousness forward to the future generations. Man, anyhow, wouldn't you like to say hello? 
<laughs> he's a proper like presenter type. So you're Katara's son. No matter how we got here, Grandma, you can rest assured that I also hate you with all my heart. Ah, uh, that's crazy. See, all for one's a troll. He's one of those guys. You know? He's just he's playing dumb and he just he's messing with them because he knows how strong he is. But Shigaraki, he, he's not into the games. He's into just pure evil, destruction. He's yeah. Manipulation with his situation. Yeah, exactly. I think that's that's his 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 whole game. Yeah. Um, manipulation with through the mind, if anything. Yeah. It's all a fair world. It's a rodent. Good tomorrow. Your hatred is making its mark. The rule is that only the will of one fool's wielder can affect it. But your rage is starting to eat away at the very rule. Whoops. I nearly <laughs> forgot you hate me too. Oh, you attacked him. <laughs> yeah, Shigaraki is a savage. Trust me. All the better. Now, how fitting for the symbol of terror. Freeze. But still not enough, it seems. We. Oui. Since my brother is as obstinate as I am. So is he the next in line, brother? <laughs> it's such a shame that I can never make you mine. We will never go to you. We have chosen to remain with this boy. Just the last of going to shoom. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> it's going to be, <laughs> yeah, be a back. That's the one power that never behaved how Master wanted. What the hell? Show me some power tomorrow. Combine your strength with my own and we can steal them away. There are but a couple departed people who fell to me. Brother, you claim you've chosen this? No point in bluffing when I know the truth. I've seen it all through tomorrow's eyes. This incredible power has been wasted. Wasted on, wasted on one who can protect neither friend nor teacher. You were forced to defend him. In fact, what's more? Like his master, he's given himself over to blind rage. He finds himself immobilized, squirming about, helplessly watching on. Conferring this power to someone so worthless was a mistake. No, it wasn't. Someone who exploits people like you could never understand what drives this boy to bloodshed. He rages for the sake of others. But then he does his best until he can do no more. This young man is possessed by a drive to save others that eclipses all common understanding. Our power is his, and we shall follow him. All right, cool. So then we come back into the real world with a big flash of light, kind of expecting Aizen to appear, but no, we've got Shigaraki and Midoriya both floating in the air, taking loads of damage. It looks like really, really bad. Midoriya's wondering, did he steal it? No, he couldn't. But tomorrow, my quirk has not fully settled into your body, so you couldn't summon the power to steal his. Don't black out. Your body must achieve completion. Retreat, mm. take stock, and live on. Live to fight on. Shigaraki, please, please don't start moving again. Shigaraki's fighting Endeavor. Nice. Let's prep, prep for what. So now we've left them. So this is the end. To so now it all kind of makes sense. We felt like this was going to go too far, and neither one of them can handle the powers they have. So it's perfect. So now we've got what was going to prepare for the future, and now we've gone to Giganto Machia and the rest of the. League of Villains. And yeah, we've got Dabby talking. Shigarek is fighting Endeavor. Nice, let's prep. Prep for what? To tear down this fake hero society, of course. Are you fine with this, Toga? You're awfully close to the edge. I know you've been scanning for them. Those UA scamps you love so much. They are heroes too. Where do they draw the line? That's what she says. If heroes are supposed to save people, then was it then was Jin not considered a person? Would they kill me too? That's what I want to ask Izuku and Ochako. Depending on their answer, I'll be fine. So that's the end of the chapter. We're, we're moving. We're moving scenes. We're going to the other heroes and the League of Villains and Giganto Machia, man. So we can talk about everything at the end. I say we just dive straight into 288 and then let's wrap, let's wrap this. So into chapter 288, and as I promised you, the title is Save... Takio. I was going to say that earlier, obviously. But <laughs> same, same. Listen, you're, you're wielding multiple quirks, man. <laughs> it's not easy, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I know, I know. All right. So let me kick this off. Are we not there yet? Kindly ensure we arrive within the next five minutes. Not happening. It's not like we're Hawks or Mirko. 
and standing while we're flying at top speed is dangerous, so please sit down, especially since you're not back to full health yet. At this very moment, countless lives are being lost. Nothing else matters, so don't change the subject. I'm just trying to show my concern here. Who is that? And we see it like in, in what's going on in the city. We've got all different kinds of heroes just trying to evacuate the city and protect everyone because we know Gigantor Matcha is a prob- problem. Our target is currently passing through in the battle city at 100 kilometers per hour. You saying Bolt don't want it with this guy, man. <laughs> uh, isn't that way too fast? More like way too big, not to, men- not to mention indestructible. He's tossing aside buildings with massive mole like claws. All that flying rubble means more destruction than just what's in his path. We need to evacuate the areas within a five kilometer radius around his route. If we keep heading in his direction, we'll encounter the monster in about eight minutes. We're already looking at unprecedented damage. This is our failing. These good people just happen to be in the way. We must save their lives even at the cost of our own. Why should they suffer for our mistakes? Is that a light image? How handy? Handy. He says, betraying his shameful lack of sophistication. <laughs> why, is he, why, why is he throwing jabs at me? <laughs> Not quite the hero army we met at the villa. We're still a good number. Our being here is most like, most, mostly due to luck and happenstance. We must keep aware of the approaching enemy if we hope to. Ah, go back. Zoom in there. Long hair. Is that any way to ask a favour of someone? Speak of the little devils. It's them. It's that. Give me my equipment. Huh? So aggressive. You're making this old man blush. Quick. Keep. There. Oh, her leg is looking. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, young lady. Ah, if only I hadn't noticed them. Don't jump from this high. It's dangerous. Feeling all confused and gloomy just makes me feel sick. I have to go ask them. I have to. At this very moment, say something, Dabby. Don't just stand there, grinning. Ah, who cares? Hey, stop. Stop spying on random crap and hurry up. Unless you want to get buried, burned. You people, I swear. Kelga. No, we're just a gang of strays who happen to find each other. But you're not the only one feeling messed up over twice. The League was the only place he felt he could belong. And the boss probably wants us to stick together. I don't. I know that doing as we please is the villain way. But you'd better come back to us. Okay. It's a little bit sentimental. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got Uraka. The giant villain is, in, villain is in sight. He's fast. Hurry up with the evacuation. Run away perpendicular from his path. There's still citizens inside these buildings. Split up and rescue them. Two more over here, Uravati. Got Froppy. Got it. Froppy. Wow. Got just buildings just being collapsed. Robo's filling off everywhere. Sorry for the rough handling. That did the trick. Thanks. Hey, you two, I need help. My husband's bedridden and he's too heavy for me to carry. It's already too close for the comfort. Our place is down here. Hurry. Get those two to safety, Froppy. Okay, be careful. Mm-hmm. I can't have you getting hurt. This looks like a trap. we got to save every life we can. My poor Takio. Yes, I, I reckon this is Toga in disguise. Those legs of yours sure can move, ma'am. <laughs> the strength of my legs is thanks to Takio's love. And then the Kachaka looks on. He'll be okay because I'm going to save him. <laughs> you will? Here we get a new shot. <laughs> uh, Himiko, Toga. So it's been forever, Ochaka. Ochako. Wait. So then they run into a house. And then Ochaka's looking around. Vroom. I was hoping to chat with you. See you too. And then because she was my cute and precious friend. And with Izuku, Izuku. I love him when he's all beat up. Which is like always. He's so cool. I love how cute you are too, Ochako. I want to be just like you. So you got to tell me. And then she, she approaches her with a knife, putting it to her throat. What do you want to do to me? <laughs> this is getting freaky. You mean you stole that old lady's blood, killed her, just to ask me a question like that? Just to... 
I was holding him in my arms. So then I think that's Izuki. Izuki, she's got there. Listen, I'm trying to save every life I can right now. Understand him, Kotoga. If you get in my way, then I'm going to stop you right here, right now. Jeez, nice. Okay. So we've got a matchup. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm liking this matchup. What I'm like. So what are we saying? What's going on, man? I mean, first of all, I would like to say I really do like, because I was really worried, I have to be honest. I was saying that they're, they're scaling this power from zero to 200 way too fast. And they reined it in. They damaged both boys. It makes sense. I'm at peace. Hopefully back goes all right. Everything's okay. We didn't even have to kill Endeavor. I mean, you're like, wow. Like, I mean, we're <laughs> saying, all right. But it was very interesting to go into the world of All for One and understand and also finally get to really put a, a face and a voice to One for All, the younger brother. Mm-hmm. So kind of understanding how their powers work and how they can keep each other at bay, how they're basically, it's that kind of yin and yang balance. They're both like opposing forces. It was really, really cool. So Kohai, salute. Take my, take my hat off to you, man. Yeah, they they definitely opened the world up to a lot of different options in terms of this whole uh, uh, adopting characteristics with with quirks. So that could that could break off to anywhere really. Mm-hmm. Also, the whole thing with um, uh, I, I don't know. Did you did you not know that know that uh, all for one could get rid of quirks as well? Like yeah, say, yeah, yeah. Well, he passes them on, isn't it? Like he's always been able to take and pass them on, extract and gives to somebody else, and so he can use and um, get rid of. What's the I never knew. Then... You probably did. You just like the, the, all this stuff happened so long ago. Probably... <laughs> yeah. Well, he's 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 actually building him up as a character again. Mm. I assumed all for one was going to be. I'm not going to say out of the picture but more very much on the sidelines and Shigaraki was going to be, but he's actually taking time now to build all for one's personality in a way where now he's going to be the monologue villain. Mm. And and that's the best way for me to put it. Because he, he likes to hear the sound of his own voice and he's as strong and he can back it up so he doesn't care. Mm. Do you guys, quick question, in some kind of way, just because he's so relevant, because I kind of thought that at the same time, him and um, All Might were taken out of the picture. Him coming back, do you see any way of Kohai playing with All Might again? This, is, this, this we we still have um, what's her name? The little girl with the horn. Eri. Yeah, Eri. There's so many things that guy could do. I don't think to the degree where she, she can save him. But to the point where he can probably be, be able to still support and use his powers back again to an extent, similar to how he was at the beginning when we were first, first introduced. Oh, I've got ten minutes. I've got a day. I've only got three hours. Mm. I reckon if if it is a thing of where All Might does get reintroduced, it may be the first time that Eri learns. It'll be at a time where Eri learns how to use her ability, but. If he does get his powers back, I reckon he would have to be written, written off at the same time. So yeah. he would have to die at that time. So he would, okay. he would be there, help, and then die. It, so basically, he's, his purpose is your last shot yeah. to do something. And then and maybe it. protect, maybe that's protect crazy, yeah. uh, Midori or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But Midori, <laughs> okay. he, he just throws his body into the fire. Yeah. Is he going to lose both his arms? Because the risk is. He should have never have done 100 percent I think I think it's time where we need him to like like this whole thing of like if, if it keeps happening where he mm. rinses his body and then like somehow there's an arse pool where his body is still functional. Evil, like I'd like them to like actually take away one of his arms. And this is like, what he take, take one away so like, to an extent. And that will make him stronger because it will make him learn his lesson on what he needs to like develop to get to where he needs to get to, kind of thing. That's like because right now if it's if he keeps going to that doctor and he's all right, it's a bit of an ask for. You know but what? I suspect that he will lose something to gain something. Like one of his quirks will make because remember, Black Whip is like a limb, so he doesn't really need a limb. Do you get what I mean? 
I'm, I'm sure he doesn't feel that way. <laughs> Bro, you know what my thing is, yeah? you, you know what? And this is where we can create this and the concept of Black Whip. Why can't he put 100% Detroit Smash into a Black Whip? Hmm? Why does he have to use his physical arm? Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and this is where he this is where he needs to learn. But at the same time, also, if he does lose something, he has the support of that girl, the one that was in the the exam finals when she when she was just so sort of marketing her products. Oh, this, yeah, the support girl. I forgot what her name is. So she, that, you can make something to help him. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make sure a functional arm, a functional leg. Because you've lost, a li- you need a limb, and then you apply that all for one cowling onto that. Mm. Yeah, well, as well, we still don't know what all the, all the quirks are. To get the truth, there, there was one quirk that was mentioned in this chapter. I want to get you guys thoughts. He mentioned it, um, the power stocking quirk. Mm. So, what is the power stocking quirk? Is that actually one for all, or is there something that he's on one for all? His brother picked up in between. That's what I'm thinking it is, you know. So I don't think one for all always initially passed on quirks. So it must have been not the first, uh, the brother, but it must have been the, the first person who inherited must have been able to stack quirks. Okay. That's that's what I'm thinking is. So but no, 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 no. was passed on. The first person who was passed on to was it had the ability to stack stock power, and then whoever he passed on to thereafter, mm. the power just Okay, yeah, you know. Is that because to say because uh, what's it? All Might has said that um, Midoriya has f- was it five other qu- he said five other quirks or something yeah. like that, right? So he's specifically said that he has those quirks. So it had to have yeah. been someone early. Yeah. But how it works is is the interesting part. Yeah. Yeah. To to make the story a bit more interesting, maybe it hasn't. There's a negative effect to it. No, nah, it's going well, man. And, and I like that we've moved away. I think the next relevant question we all have to ask ourselves, how are we going to stop Giganto Man? <laughs> Who's going to play the part? Because right, like, nah, it's, it's a serious note, man. Like, this, this guy is wrecking the world. Like, literally, mm. he's the, wrecking the, the, the world. The Who was the man on the plane? Yeah. I, I don't want to say it's all for one. Sorry, um, all my, sorry, apologies. Because he doesn't really talk like that. So when they mentioned uh, health, Koha is smart. He mentioned health to throw people off. But he, didn't, he doesn't have that kind of language. He never speaks in that kind of manner or tone. I have an idea of who it is. It more than likely isn't. But I reckon it's Lemillion. Oh, I would love that. Like I said, if, if the pro, let's like, say that Aaron sort, like, Aaron sort it out. Like that. Mm. There's no reason why it can't be. Like, mm. you know, Lemillion yeah. is to come back at some point we have to remember that okay like, i don't think he's going to create a power a character so cool to just wash him after one arc yeah, yeah, yeah. i hear that i hear that he's a g but it's just like how useful is he in this scenario like gigantometry is no joke he's quite yeah but he can just go inside him through the walls and just, like mm. i think he's perfect like, the man can go through walls so he must be able to go through rocks so it's a it's one of them things where like we need someone who can just shut the system because, like, Giganto match is a problem. Imagine someone that just break break up all that rubble from the inside. Mm. Oh man! Mm. Or someone that can turn rock to dust. But guys, let us know what you thought. That's that's two chapters in one there. So let us know what you thought about both of those chapters. They were both hot. There was a lot that was going on, but we're interested to know what you guys think. Let us know if you haven't already. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like, and don't forget to share the video. The more you share, the more we grow. Well, from Congress, I can call it. Here's that time. Peace out. Peace out.